Just boys chilling. <laughs> Is it the best place to smoke a cigar? What do you think? It's pretty good. What do you think, Michael? I think this gal can play the sax like nobody's business. There's like not a bad view, like even behind let's give, you. Let's give Brian Ferry and Roxy Music a plug, okay? Okay, go. Are you listening to him? Oh. Good tunes. Good cigar. Good bourbon. I'm trying a new bourbon tonight. What Stag. is that? Stag Jr., actually. I just opened it up. Give it a try. They probably can't hear you with the music. It's a little spicy. They can hear me. It's too loud. And if they can't... Wait a minute. Blah, 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 blah. What up guys, James here Binder. from- Binder! Binder! What up guys, James here from Oscar Reviews and I have the Foundry. This is the Time Flies Cigar from Foundry Cigars. And this is a beautiful Robusta with a Habano, uh, Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, and Nicaraguan filler and binder. Let's get into it. You don't like my cigar, are you? I do. Okay. Wait, right. I watch your cigar reviews all the time. You do? Yeah, every so often. I have approval? It's all about the clothes. There you go. <laughs> Here in sales, it's all about the clothes. The sounds toasted, toasted, toasted. Well, let's have a little talk about bourbon and cigars. Talk to you. Oh, you're not doing cigar review. Oh! oh I, I do! Oh, no, he's the Patches man. <laughs> we were just talking about, um, you know, lighting a cigar first and then doing a bourbon, picking out a bourbon, because you don't want to overpower your cigar. You want to complement the flavors of the cigar. So, you know, for instance, if I have a strong, spicy cigar, maybe you'd want something to match that, right? Or complement it. Or do you like counteractive? I was just saying that I like to match my cigar. If it's a creamy, sweet type of cigar, and I, I think of Davidoff, the Connecticut wrappers, for example, I would like to have a very lighter, sweeter, creamier, butterscotchy bourbon, something that would works well with that. If I want, if I'm having a, maybe a peppery cigar, like a Blue Label Don Pepin, that reminds me of pepper a lot, so I'll go with more of a rye. What do you think, Brandon? I agree. <laughs> I would say the same thing. Yeah. James, what do you think? Mostly I just grab whatever I got. So Glenn Levitt is spicy pears. A lot of times the spice of a cigar, like a Habano, I like that spice with the Glenn Levitt spiced pear flavor. All right, the first five minutes in, the Foundry, Time Flies, Robusto is doing great. It's a medium to medium full body. The Habano wrapper really shines where it's a little bit spicier, earthy, very, very bold, very, um, I don't know, back of the throat kind of spice. It's very nice. But uh, let's see what kind of drink we pair it with. All the smoke is going straight up. You can't even smell it at all in this room. It's very cool, especially at night. Check out that view. Anyway, the Foundry is doing well. The Fast Time Cigar, it's just a little too spicy, a little too monotone. Um, it's not bad. It's probably medium to full, probably almost full. Um, it's a very good cigar. It's just a little too spicy, a little too monotone. That's all. That Partagas, uh, number two, Siri P. P2, yeah. That I was, gave you? That was probably... I gave him one of the P2s. P2s? That was probably the best cigar. Can't, can't say I never gave you a nice cigar, James. That was probably the best yeah. cigar. Yeah, at least you won't be called a dick. <laughs> <laughs> what was your best cigar, James? That's a, I, I, I know it's not the Opus X. He's never had one. He has. I gave him one. He smoked it. But, Certainly isn't the one he's smoking right yeah. now. <laughs> no, this cigar is okay. It's just, it's too... <laughs> All right, we are done with the Foundry. This is the Fast Times. Um, it's a, yeah, it's a little too spicy, a little too monotone. I wouldn't probably recommend this to someone. It's it's definitely probably full body, medium to full body, but just kind of boring. I, I'd say it smokes a little hot. Michael said it smokes a little hot. Um, it, it definitely goes well with a stronger drink, but I would say that this is probably like a seven or an eight out of 10. Nothing exciting, but um, yeah, it wasn't terrible, I guess. So thanks for watching. I mean, it wasn't terrible. It just wasn't like, wow. I mean, these guys are smoking wow cigars, you know? Don't you hate it when you have a decent cigar and someone's smoking a great cigar? It makes your decent cigar taste like blah. That's, that's the problem.